On any given night around 5 p.m., the Birch Aquarium closes their doors to the public. But for one night a month starting in January, they're going to be opening up for a special Oceans at Night event, and we're taking you inside to get a sneak peek. We're really excited to get to share the aquarium when people aren't normally here. So people kind of have this idea that the fish go to sleep at night. And so we thought how cool to be able to share what happens in the evening, um, you know, when it gets dark. That really was our inspiration. If you walk into the Birch Aquarium after dark, you'll notice it's transformation. Lights that show off bioluminescence from marine plants and animals, music, small bites, and even glow-in-the-dark cocktails are available all to show off the amazing change that happens as we go to bed and our oceans come alive. Bioluminescence um, is when an organism actually has a chemical reaction in their body and emits light. And then we also are going to be talking about biofluorescence, where an animal takes in light and kind of changes the color of it and the color that comes back out is slightly different. The event focuses on showing the aquarium's inhabitants in a new light literally from jellyfish to sea corals and the scientists who study them. Some of, guys, some of these guys are starting to settle down a little bit for the, the evening um, and then some animals might be coming a little bit more active or demonstrating different behaviors. Oceans at Night will be held once a month on select Thursdays and will only be open to people 21 and older. Tickets for the general public are $30. There's also an upgraded experience that costs $75 and both tickets give discounts to current aquarium members. So this is actually um, a place where some of the scientists down at Scripps, before they go out into the middle of the ocean and are doing research, they can come here and practice some of their techniques oh, cool. um, in a place where it's not, it didn't cost a whole plane ticket and um, you want to make sure your data are collected well before you Will have to go to it. put people in the water mm -hmm. here? Yep. Cool. Yeah. Any of the habitats that we can't really just kind of get in with our arm, we will have divers go in. Scripps first public aquarium exhibit opened in La Jolla in 1905. It's been growing ever since. It wasn't until 1992 with a donation from the Stephen and Mary Birch Foundation that the aquarium got the new name. Planning for this event um, involved some of us kind of wandering around in the dark um, with some flashlights and that was really a lot of moments of discovery for us. Um, and we were kind of acting, um, you know, that part of, of getting to be excited um, and, and discover new things. So we're hoping to get to share that with people and, and hopefully they'll have that same sense of excitement that we did. Tickets for Oceans at Night will go on sale each month on their website, aquarium.ucsd.edu. In La Jolla, Evan Narani, CBS 8.